a quick little video. I had something that was attempted to be delivered on Friday, but I was actually in the shower when they attempted to deliver, so I had to go pick it up today from the post. And all I did was um, cut open the bag. And let's take a look and see what we have inside. It is so cutely wrapped. It says, hi John, thank you very much for your purchase. Enjoy your little happy things and hope to see you again, Erica. I bought this from an Etsy store and look at the cute washi. And when I turned this, I just saw this on the back. This very cute, um, there's a duck, a pig, a squirrel, a lamb, a monkey. And um, I think a bunny rabbit wearing little Christmas Santa hats. <laughs> they say Merry Christmas, Joyeux Noël, Holy Night. Very cute. I'm going to see if I can save that tape. Um, but what we have right here is a cute package. Let me see if I can get a little more light. Not really. Um, so I spend my days in my garden. Very cute. This really cute paper. And I love the little Russian nesting doll, um, sort of. Oh, it's going to take up some of it. Well, that's a bummer. Oh no, I'm destroying the paper. But it's, it's a very fine, thin wrapping paper. Or tissue paper. I think that was expected. Let me get this side up here. Well, oh, actually, I might not need to. So you can kind of tell the size of it. And now you can see what it is. Um, let me take the plastic off. So there isn't as much glare. Okay. So, here you'll see it is a Traveler's Notebook, and it is the Traveler's Factory Station Edition. So, this is the new one that came out this year for the new Traveler's Notebook store. And that's what came with it so far. What's inside, and the little guide. And since it's a brown colored, it has an orange, extra orange elastic. Here's some care instructions. And always when you get a, a Traveler's Factory or a Midori Traveler's Company notebook, always save this elastic because you can use it as an extra elastic for the outside or you can use it to uh, piggyback books together to fit more than one insert inside. So always save that extra elastic. Now let's see what we have inside the muslin bag. And look at that. It is a Traveler's Factory Traveler's Notebook and it has the embossing from the train station on it. And let's see what the back says. Traveler's Notebook. So this is like all of the new ones since the blue edition came. And it's a gorgeous brown, but you'll see it's a different type of brown than the, the standard brown. Let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. See how it has this beautiful variation in color from where it has been bended. And that's one thing that the standard brown doesn't do. Here is, this is my original brown traveler's notebook that I got, goodness gracious, back in 2014. Um, and see how this is a very suede feel to the leather. And this over time has become very glossy. But, so you can see right there, the gold embossing on it, it's really pretty. 
And then it does have an insert inside. And it is a special insert. And the inside is so soft. The original... Oh, sorry, I dropped my bone folder. The original... And of course, Seamus now has to come and check it out. No, you don't. Um, has this beautiful... I try to pick it up so he doesn't get it. Nap inside. This, this one doesn't have that at all. It's really, really, really smooth. And you can tell it is a pull-up leather because of the way the spine is uh, a lighter color after it's been folded. And also, if you look here, I'll just bend the corner just a little bit. You'll see how it becomes lighter there. So it's like a, it's a pull-up leather. And it's, it's actually quite um, firmer than I was expecting. But I wonder if it has to do something to do with the um, heat process for getting the gold to stay on. But here's the insert. And it basically has what you see on the cover. All aboard, get on the Traveler's Train and the train. And they have a special stamp at the Traveler's Factory store in... Um, in uh, Tokyo at the train station where you can put your insert in and it'll give you a special traveler stamp for that station. And you can see it is just a ivory insert and this looks like it is the um, standard 013 uh, paper that's either MD paper or um, Tomoe River because it's a very thin paper. But that is all I wanted to share with you. Just a quick little unboxing of something that I ordered a long time ago when they came out over the summer. It just took that long to get from me. It must have been on a little tugboat coming over from Japan. So there you go. Just a quick little look at a new addition to my collection of traditional standard Midoris. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.